Hi, it's Lala Flower Girl here. Welcome back to another Islands video. So this is my week two progress. So I've been so busy this week and I just went back and looked at my week one progress and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are going to think I've got a different island completely. But this is still my hardcore and I have just been just playing the game and I just love it so much. I love the grindiness of the game. I love getting out there hanging out with friends and we've been doing the bosses so that's why I've been able to get my hardcore trophy as you might have seen in my other video that had um about the update so this is my spawn area so I ended up um moving my spawn so it spawns in here now and I've got still got the portals I went and I've made an ATM to remind myself to deposit my money before I go out and kill bosses. I've got some of my orbs set up here for some of the wild islands, which again, just to remind you that you can't use them on other people's islands, but you can use orbs and that on your island, but you can use someone else's portal. So if you're at level 55 to go to the underworld, you will be able to use someone else's portal to get there. So the portals still work for everybody, it's just the orbs don't. And also if you go to someone's island and they've got the personal orbs to get from place to place, you can't use those. So don't, yeah, you can't even get around someone's island using orbs. So don't even worry about those ones. So, all right, so I moved this little farm. So I had a farm here for all of the bits and pieces. So I've moved it over here because it's kind of everything's expanded. So this is where my questing one is. So I've got this here to do. I've still got my trap. I've kind of redone it with the cactus now. So they get attracted to the cactus. So if I've got cactus and that up here, they'll just wander around in here. But they don't eat cactus. They will be attracted to it, but they don't eat it. So I end up with three void um, things in here, the crop eaters. And once I've got three in here, I can farm and do whatever I like for night, day, anything, and I won't get any more. Three is the maximum that will spawn. But if you leave your island, they will disappear. So you'll get a new lot. So once you've got three in your trap, go ahead, add all your crops in that you want to do, do your quests, whatever you like, that's fine. They don't also, they don't eat cactus, they don't eat rice. They don't eat grapes or dragon fruit. I've had these things in here like set up for many, many nights and the crop eaters just wander from side to side eating all of the things, but they don't actually eat them. They've never lost any of them. Some people have, so I'm not really sure. I guess it's not 100%, but so far I haven't lost those ones. So I went ahead and made my little bread and grape farm here that I had set up and I've combined them and now I'm making jam sandwiches. So that's really cool. Been out grinding on Buffer Core to get the cry gold to make the food processes. So we've got that part going. I did set up a tiny, teeny tiny little onion farm with, if you've got enough totems to get all the seeds so they're not fully grown for any amount of time so as soon as they grow they get picked up pretty much then your um crop eaters won't get to them so see that one's fully grown but there's obviously there's enough space around it that they're probably going to land in the void anyway but that won't stay there for too long and it won't attract the crop eaters so i've just been getting the oily onions because i don't have a washer been using this washing station and you'll see I've got 163 so you watch down here how many I get 163 I got 269 onions so using this manual washer actually is helpful <laughs> you actually get twice as many so that's really good all right so here I've just this is just for farming wheat and stuff that I like my flower farm is expanding, so I'm getting more and more flowers as I go along. So I've got that there. These are all the flowers that I've been able to breed. So I've managed to get up. It's funny because I've got to chrome chrysanthemum, but I have not got any tulips. I can't get any tulips. I've still only got one red one. So that that is hilarious to me that I've got kind of end game flowers, but I have got no tulips at all. But I can do all the colours, so that, that's one thing at least. I've got all the colours and my flower inventory is quite substantial now, so I'm getting up there. I can pretty much craft 
what I want now if I um, have the other materials to go with it. So I moved my animals as well. So they moved over here. They've got a fancy little island over here. I've got trees. I've got all my autos set up here. I still don't have the um, wool vac, but I'm working on it because I'm um, I need a gearbox. So I'm going to need a gearbox for this one. So I've got to work on getting that, which I, I shouldn't be too far off it. I should be at, should have that later today I would say if I work on it I can get to that so but I've still got my scratching posts here and just made a little area up here for them to sleep if they want to it's kind of there yeah, nothing too much but yeah they get stuck in these troughs I really don't know why it says I'm already on a mount hmm. must be thinking that I'm on that Oh yeah, there we go. There you go. If you have trouble getting on your mount, just mount it and dismount it and then you should be able to make it work. Alright, I'll fill their troughs up later. So we'll go on to the next thing. So yeah, I don't have a lot of farms. A lot of people are doing big farms. I'm I'm gonna go out and do another video and visit a whole heap of other people and we will see what other people are doing because you know you could visit 10 different islands are all doing hardcore and they will 10 different styles of playing and what they concentrate on so yeah just gotta yeah that I'm gonna do that later and we'll see who's got what so here I've been farming berries good old berry farm back in the day was the one that gave you lots of money and it's still it works in hardcore I've got mostly red but you once you get your other berries, you can get those as well, and they're worth a bit more. So, got one of those, and what else did I get? I got a blueberry. So, um, blueberries are here. So, yeah, slowly getting that expanded as well. And then I was here and doing stuff, and I moved all of the industrial stuff that I had here. I've moved that, so I've created the other side of my island has got my um, industrial so we'll go and have a look at that so if you go up here and up over my fancy bridge I've sort of like built mountains around it now so I've got a fancy bridge here and over here I have all my industry so this is where I've set this up so the gold spawned here and I had copper spawn there that's the original copper that I had there and the other gold is way over there so I've used my input output chest to help me get the gold down here so I don't lose any and a way to do that is having all these input output chests because every time the gold leaves here the, the count starts again so it's not going to be on the conveyor belts for the whole time and to get it to push it through if you don't have a lot of gold as long as you've got enough gold to fill the first slot the rest can be filled with stone and only the gold will get pushed through so when the gold comes through it'll push one out so it only pushes out the first one so fill it all up with stone as long as the first one has got your gold she's gonna feed through no worries and I've got my steel mills all set up here as well to make me steel and I've got I just use this system lots of people got different ways of doing it and this has got what, eight presses and four smelters are not presses mills eight steel mills and four smelters and that's just getting all of that down and I've got it feeding into a randomizer and into a steel press to make me some plates so that's another thing I, I had to work on so I've been grinding a lot to get all of this so I've got lots of these going and I'm collecting the steel ingots as well because we need them for lots of other things and yeah so that is set up there collect all those so I don't lose any more and here is my red bronze so I have two gold and one copper coming in here so this gold feeds in from this side you can see there's one gold bar coming through now that's going to push the gold through it's coming down and underneath here right under here I have a merger so I've got a merger under there 
and I've got the copper just coming down there so you'll see this gold will come out underneath there we go into there and then this gold is coming out through here into the merger from the other side so then we just got the copper coming down the stairs and in there so this was quite compact this area here so that was really handy and I'm getting lots of red bronze got my workbenches set up here I have just standard iron set up here so I've got that this one I just was experimenting with a crate packer so I could make some onion crates so what I do is I just feed in here feed my onions in here and I've got the chest set to out and it's just going to feed the crate packer with the onions and make onion crates it's not very efficient and I just don't have a washer or else this would be onto my onion farm uh, and then I went and got another copper deed so I got another copper spawn way out here so this one has just got a couple of copper presses and this one is doing bolts and this one is doing plates because there is a lot of tier 2 items that use copper bolts and copper plates so I've got those feeding through there and while I've been waiting for like the red bronze and ingots and everything I decided I would do some building and landscaping and stuff so I had my bridge here for a little while and so I decided on doing something a little bit because I, I can't build a shop so I thought I would build a house and have some landscaping so from this side you can't really see any of my industrial stuff out there so I've got some landscaping I'm still working on getting that getting a few different things on it I've been experimenting putting vine ladders here and rocks through here just to try and make it a bit more interesting and then I've been working on my house so I, I'm, I'm not a house designer I'm not really a um, I don't think I'm a good builder and yeah but I'm just playing around with it and so far I'm just guessing and it's coming together it's not not too bad I'm actually getting there so I've got my little door here and inside I've got a little reading nook under there I've got my little stools in the a bit of a kitchen going and I've got my like, little living area and in here I've got my all important bathroom and I'm still working on the roof obviously so we go up here this is going to be like bedroom area looking out here and then I'm gonna have my roof up here so I'm just working on that getting all the materials and I'm using spirit spirit wood and basalt this is basalt brick and to get the brick you put it into the stone cutter so I've been making the basalt so there that is my house progression I'm still I've been working on this pretty much most of yesterday so today I'm going to be doing a bit more on that and yeah my island is just expanding and I think I'm about 17,000 blocks now so yeah I'm just still just pottering around working on it so this building is giving me something to do while I'm waiting for other stuff oh some void eaters crop eaters there he spawned there and now he's going straight in there Okay, so now I've got three in there. It doesn't matter, day, night, whatever, I can do farming and they're not going to get it. And they're just going to stay in there forever. Forever until I either kill them or I leave the server. If you leave the server, they reset, which is a bummer. But that's all good. What else have I done? Oh, yes, my fruit trees. I moved my fruit trees. So I had them just here where my house is. So I moved them over here. And I finally got at least you know a couple of each I'm still trying to get some more lemon so I'm working on just like getting the saplings there I've got all my avocado I've got three kiwis now and all my plums so now I can either I can do all of those quests the fruit quests easy enough and I can get more saplings to trade if I want to so yeah that's really cool so that is pretty much where I'm at I, I'm really happy with the way I'm progressing I'm really still enjoying this you know some days I just potter around here on my island while I'm waiting for the red bronze and stuff to to 
farm that and to get stuff so yeah this is really cool and I'm really enjoying my little house here and I'm going to do all the garden area as well so yeah can't wait to get that finished and show you my next week's progress so yeah that's all for now so thanks for watching I'll see you next time